week's chapter of One Piece, we finally get to learn that Big Mom is not exactly a dog person and not exactly a cat person. She's more of a skeleton with an afro person, as she's essentially turned Brooke into her very own personal pet. Not only that, but Pedro of the Mink Tribe does battle with Baron Tamago, who's going through a rather strange evolutionary process, where he's quite literally transforming into a chicken. Not only that, but it seems like Luffy is this much closer to finding Sanji and ending all of this madness on Whole Cake Island. So much stuff to talk about in this week's chapter in so little time, so let's just go ahead and start from the beginning. This week's chapter opened up with Big Mom, who has effectively turned Brooke into her very own personal bitch. Basically, she finds him completely adorable, and honestly, I feel terrible for Brooke, because he just got back from the island of Zo, where he was constantly being assaulted by all of the dog minks, who were basically trying to use him like a human chew toy. And now, he's basically just a lap dog for Big Mom. But there is some big information that she decides to drop on the viewers. One, apparently, Gold Roger had some sort of weird ability to actually read the pony glyphs, whether this is some sort of special devil fruit ability, something to do with hockey, or something else altogether is still kind of a mystery. Still, it still paints him as a very important figure in the One Piece universe because he was able to read all of this shit. Not only that, but apparently the hat that Big Mom wears actually is also infused with her soul, very much like a lot of the other objects on Whole Cake Island. Her hat goes by the name of Napoleon, and the fact that it actually has a skull on the top leads me to believe that it's probably going to talk and move its mouth. This is, again, something I cannot wait to see in the anime version. And according to Big Mom, her hat Napoleon and Prometheus and Zeus are the most powerful beings infused with her soul. According to her, they're straight-up clones of her altogether, which leads me to believe that they are going to be very fierce warriors and might even be able to go through some crazy transformation sequences. I mean, can you imagine a scene where one of the Straw Hat Pirates or one of the heroes from the series has to battle against a friggin' hat? I can't wait to see how that would play out. We also get to learn a little bit more about Pudding and the fact that her third eye is actually very important. She's a half-breed person from the Three-Eyed Tribe. There's a lot of these weird, multi-limbed, multi-eyed tribes in the One Piece universe. And according to Big Mom, when she's able to fully open that eye, there's going to be something very special about that. And Pudding has some big plans to talk to her mom about something, but they just decide to sweep that under the rug for the rest of the chapter. My favorite part of this week's chapter, though, has to be the battle between Pedro and Baron Tamago as they officially confirm what it is that Baron Tamago is doing. Now, originally I thought that he was going to be like an egg-egg man, where basically no matter how many times you crack him, he can basically just reform into the form of like an egg white and egg yolk. Actually, it's a little different than that. He still has like this ability to like transform his body into an egg, but every single time that he is damaged, he goes through this evolution where he slowly starts to transform into a living chicken. Now, when I saw this at first, I'm like, oh, he's basically just a zone type user. He can transform into a chicken or a half man, half chicken type creature, but apparently he gets stronger every single time he is harmed, where first he is Baron Tamago, his second form is known as the Viscount Chick, and then eventually his next evolution will be the Count Chicken. It's funny, it's ridiculous, but honestly, I love it. It's just so insane, and it's the type of stuff that I expect from the One Piece series. But despite the fact that Baron Tamago is turning into a frigging chicken, that's not stopping Pedro. He's just completely bringing the pain, smacking that ass, and just blowing up everybody with a bunch of bombs. Not only that, but at the last second, he is saved by Chopper and Carrot. So he is now in the mirror world as well, and he also sort of lets them know what's going down. And they're also still trying to find a lot of the main characters, and Carrot has the perfect opportunity to show off her art skills. And I will say that they're better than Conjuro, but the way that she actually envisions the Straw Hat Pirates is just a completely drastic different art style. Basically, she makes them all look pretty. The rest of the chapter follows Luffy as he runs around Whole Cake Island desperately searching for Sanji until eventually he runs into the room where Reiju is. She actually manages to pull him into her room and I love how you can actually see him like bouncing off the walls and she informs him of everything that's going on. Sanji just learned that Pudding is going to kill not only him but the entire Vinsmoke family and Luffy still refuses to eat anything and even claims that even if Big Mom were to go after everybody at the uh, restaurant ship that he would basically go and save them as well. He's 
in it to help Sanji in every single way, but Sanji is going down a completely different path. He's going down one where he feels basically there's no turning back at this point, which leads me to believe that he's probably going to do something incredibly drastic without acknowledging Luffy or any of the other Straw Hat Pirates, which could potentially lead to something which could be very tragic, but we'll have to see. I have a feeling that's not going to happen, and eventually Luffy will be able to stop him from whatever it is that he is planning to do. I'm still just waiting for that moment where we get the next big confrontation between these characters, because the last time they saw each other, the circumstances behind it were a little violent. So I'd like to see them be a little more brotherly the next time that they actually see each other. That being said, this was a super exciting chapter of One Piece. So what's the rundown on this week's chapter of One Piece? Baron Tamago is a chicken! Really, that's all I have to say about this one. I love the creativity of his abilities, because they could have just gone the normal route with him being just like sort of like a zone type, or uh, just a regular like, guy who's like can transform into eggs or something, but they took it to this new level by giving him like this evolution that he would constantly go through, and unfortunately we don't get to see too much of that, but it definitely leads to some pretty fun and frankly really funny looking imagery, just to see a man in a top hat who's a chicken with two knives running after a dude who's half man and half freaking uh, leopard. It's just strange, but it works in the One Piece world. I also like how little by little they just keep dripping information about Gold Roger, his affiliation with the island of Raftel, and how he read the pony glyphs. There's a lot of important stuff in there, and you'll actually miss it if you read it too damn quick. Not to mention the thing about Pudding actually being from the Three-Eyed Tribe, which who knows what the hell that is about, you know? Maybe she's like TN from Dragon Ball and she can create clones of herself, grow arms out of her back. Maybe it's something completely different related to her Devil Fruit ability. Maybe it has to do with, like, hypnotizing people with the third eye. I mean, there's just so much speculation as to what she could actually do with these abilities. And the fact that they brought it up pretty much guarantees that we're going to see those abilities manifest probably within this arc. I have to say, it's also really funny seeing her just sort of being herself, being all huffy-puffy in front of her mom. Again, like the rest of the chapter, it leads to a lot of really funny imagery. But really, the biggest movement in this chapter, of course, is the fact that Luffy is getting ready to find Sanji, and he's desperately running around, beating the crap out of everyone that's getting in his way and just causing all sorts of destruction. There's a lot of crazy things going on on Whole Cake Island, and I'm actually surprised that uh, it's been moving along at such like a quick pace. This isn't like Dressrosa, where we had to go through all of the major introductions and go through a big tournament before we could get basically to the meat and potatoes of the arc. Right here, we're getting right into it, and it makes it really exciting and breakneck every single week. So, I loved this chapter. I especially loved all of the artwork this week, just all the funny scenes, all of the action scenes, the big explosions in the middle, Baron Tamago becoming a chicken is fan-freaking-tastic. It's awesome. So I'm going to give this chapter right here a 5 out of 5. For me, it was really entertaining. The first time I read it, I thought it was really wordy. It was like reading a freaking novel. But there's a lot of important information here. There's some cool action scenes in the middle. And like I said, this week's chapter is all about the amazing imagery, which is definitely one of the key reasons why I think a lot of people read manga in the first place. It's a visual medium. So it's a feast for your eyes, and you should definitely check it out this week. 5 out of 5 for me. If any of you guys did read this week's chapter of One Piece, make sure to tell me what you thought about it in the comments section below. Did you like this chapter? Did you not like this chapter? What did you think of Baron Tamago's abilities to transform into a chicken? Do you have any other theories as to how it was Gold Roger was able to read those pony glyphs with what Big Mom was talking about, her special ability that maybe only he could have possibly had? And what do you hope to see from the rest of this brand new arc of One Piece and beyond? Please tell me in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for all of the latest One Piece manga and anime reviews, as well as reviews on a lot of other anime series. Make sure to also leave me a comment or two. I would absolutely love to interact with you guys. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a like. I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay dandy, baby!